King Midas. Once upon a time, a long time ago in ancient Greece, there lived a king named Midas. King Midas loved three things more than anything else in the world. His little daughter, his rose garden and gold. Nothing gave him more pleasure than seeing his little daughter picking roses in the garden. Roses she placed in a gold vase to decorate the castle. One night, while strolling through the rose garden, the king stumbled over a satyr. Now satyr is half man, half goat. And this satyr looked half starved and very ill. So King Midas brought the satyr into his castle. He made sure he was washed and fed. And he tucked him up into bed for a good night's sleep. And when the satyr woke up in the next morning, his fever was gone. The king and the satyr had quite a nice chat over breakfast. King Midas was surprised to hear that the satyr belonged to the powerful god Dionysus, the god of wine and truth. That very day, the king personally took the satyr home in his very best chariot. He might only be a servant, but he was the servant of a god and deserved the very best treatment, which is something the king would have done anyway, because the king had a kind heart. As it turned out, the satyr was more than a servant. To Dionysus, he was his teacher, a good friend. Dionysus told the king he would grant any one wish the king made to thank him for taking care of his good friend. The king didn't want, wish anything for his daughter because he'd given her everything she wanted and a whole bunch besides. He did not wish for anything for his rose garden because everyone knew he grew the finest roses in all the world. That left gold. King Midas wished that everything he touched would turn to gold. Now, the king didn't have much hope that his wish had been granted because if it had been granted, his chariot would have turned into gold when he climbed aboard to go home, and it hadn't. Still, he was happy to have helped the satyr, and not just because he was a servant of a god. Satyrs were not always treated kindly in the ancient Greek world because they looked a bit different being half man, half goat. And when the king arrived back at his castle, he pulled out a chair to sit down at his table. But the minute he touched it, the chair turned to gold. Then he touched the table. He touched a vase. And as soon as he touched them, they turned to gold. King Midas raced through his castle. Everything he touched turned to gold. He was so happy. He shouted to his servants to cook him a feast in celebration. His servants were very fond of King Midas. They knew he was foolish, but he was rather a dear. So they cooked and cooked and served him a feast. And that's when the trouble started. Everything looked and smelled so good that King Midas didn't wait for his daughter to show up for lunch. He reached out and he grabbed a fistful of food and then the food made quite a clatter when he dropped it back on the table in shock. It had turned into gold in his hand. He touched other food and whatever he touched turned into gold. He tried leaning over and ripping a piece of meat with his teeth. <sighs> but that did not help. The meat turned to gold in his mouth. The king's eyes filled with fear. He knew if he could not eat that he would starve. Oh, this was terrible. The king didn't know what to do. King Midas wandered sadly out into his rose garden. His little daughter was in the garden picking roses. And when she saw her father, she ran into his arms for a hug and turned into gold. King Midas hung his head and cried. And as his tears fell on his precious roses, they turned into gold. 
But the king didn't care. He did not care about his roses or his gold or himself. Dionysus, hear my prayer, the king begged. Take my wish away. Please take my wish back and save my daughter. And happily, one last time, the king's wish was granted. The end. <laughs>